dispersion of the Ewe people? Has. Your seventh question, when was the Fanti Confederation formed? 1868. That is correct. In which year was the Fanti Constitution drawn? Pass. You passed a few questions, starting with question number one. Which African city is referred to as the Switzerland of Africa? Pass. Incorrect. Which country is called the Dead Heart of Africa? Pass. You passed question number three. In which year was the Confederation of African Football founded? Pass. Incorrect. You passed question number four. Who was the first African member of the FIFA Executive Committee? Pass. Where is said to be the place of origin of the Ewe people? Notier. Say again. Notier. Notier is incorrect. You passed question number six. Where is said to be the last stop and center of dispersion of the Ewe people? Vota region. That is incorrect. Question number eight. In which year was the Fanti Constitution drawn? 1868. That is incorrect. Please put your hands together for them. <laughs> Contestants, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, we've come to the end of the first round. We'll take some substitutions from the school and we'll get to know what the scoreboard is telling us at the end of round one. Put your hands together for the contestants again. For Prepper College, who do we have here? Bede Jeffrey, General Science, final year. Put your hands together for Jeffrey, please. And for Hope College, who do we have here? Emmy Ricky Bruce, General Science, second year. Put your hands together for Ricky, please. Contestants, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, at the end of round one, Hope College, they had 10 points. Prepper College had 20 points. Put your hands together for the schools. Contestants, you're welcome to round two. This is our cubed round. In this round, the questions will focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school is posed a question. A correct answer attracts 10 points. A wrong answer results in a deduction of five points. But this is a preamble to the two schools. And I need the best explanation to the following idioms. The best explanation to the following idioms. Starting with Hope College. This is your idiom. To set the people by ears. To set the people by ears. A. To box the people. B. To insult and disgrace the people. C. To punish heavily. D. To excite people to a quarrel. Excite the people to a quarrel. To excite the people to a quarrel. That's the right answer. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Prepper College, this is your major question. To give chapter and verse for a thing. To give chapter and verse for a thing. A. To produce the proof of something. B. To eulogize the qualities of a thing. C. To make publicity of a thing. D, to attach artificial value to a thing. Bonus to Hope College. E. A is the right answer. <laughs> Prepper College, Hope College, I beg your pardon. This is your major question. Beggar's description. A, a poor statement. B, to describe things without care. C, beyond one's power to describe adequately. D, none of these. None of these. Bonus, Prempe. What I'm looking for is beyond one's power to describe adequately. Prempe, this is your major question. To plow the sands. To plow the sands. A, to work hard to achieve one's aim. B, to afford hope or ground for expecting a good result. C, to busy oneself in a way which cannot lead to any profitable result. D, to advance one's position in life. Yes, C is the right answer. This is a preamble to the two schools. Please listen carefully. Choose the best synonym for the following words. Best synonym for the following words, starting with Hope College, this is your word. Secure, 
your options. Secret, comfortable, safe, independent. Safe. That's the right answer. Premper, this is your major question. Your word is tyranny, tyranny, tyranny. Your options, misrule, power, madness, cruelty. Cruelty. Cruelty is the right answer. Hope College, your major question, your word, obligatory, obligatory. Your options, useful, required, stubborn, agreeable. Required. That's the right answer. Premper, this is your major question. Connoisseur. A. Ignorant. Interpreter. Delinquent. An expert. An expert. An expert is the right answer. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Hope College, this is your major question. Contestants, let's do some maths. You have 30 seconds within which to answer these math questions. Five seconds for a bonus response. Hope College, the probability that Jason will go to the cinema this weekend is 0 0.7. The probability that Brooks will go to the cinema this weekend is 0 0.4. What is the probability that at least one of them will go to the cinema this weekend? 0 0.82. 0 0.82 is the right answer. Premper, this is your major question. The probability that IU will score a penalty shootout is 0 0.6. The probability that Kudus will score in the shootout is 0 0.8. What is the probability that one of them will score in the shootout? What is the probability that only one of them will score in the shootout? Prepare. 0.44. 0 0.44 is the correct answer. Hope College, if 60x, 75x, and 135x are integers, what is the highest possible integer that can divide all three numbers? 15. 15 is right. Put your hands together for them. Prepare. What is the highest positive integer that can divide 80, 96, and 108? 4. Yes. Four. Four is incorrect. Bonus of college. The answer I'm looking for is one. One is the answer I'm looking for. Hope College, this is your major question. The first seven elements of a sequence are one, two, four, seven, eleven, x, y. What is the value of x plus y? Sixteen. Sixteen. X is sixteen. Question is, what is the value? of X and Y. The answer is incorrect. A bonus to Premper College. 38. 38 is the answer I'm looking for. <laughs> Premper College, this is your major question. In a sequence, each term after the first term is B, more than the preceding term. If the fifth term is 25 and the eighth term is 37, what is the third term? Jerry. 21. 21 is incorrect. Top College, bonus. 17 is the correct answer. Top College, this is your major question. The ratio of blue to green to yellow balls. The ratio of blue to green to yellow balls is 2 to 5 to 8. If there are 30 less blue, if there are 30 less blue than yellow balls, how many green balls are in the bag? Five seconds on the clock, Hope College. 75. 75 is incorrect. Bonus, Prampa College. Jerry. 50. That is also incorrect. So the answer is 25. Prampa College, this is your major question. And the last question to end round two. 
the ratio of two numbers is 0 0.6. If the difference between the numbers is 36, what is the sum of the numbers? Jerry. Negative 144. That is incorrect. Hope College, bonus. 144. The answer is 144. Put your hands together for them, please. Contestants, we've come to the end of round two. Ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the scores at the end of round two of the contest, we'd like to make these clarifications. Question 11, which was to Hope College, was if 60x, 75x, and 135x are integers. What is the highest possible integer that can divide all three numbers? The answer that uh, Hope College gave was 15. The answer, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking for is 15x. So I am unable to accept 15 as the correct answer. I'd also like to make this clarification in question 12. What is the highest positive integer that can divide 80, 96, and 108? Premper College, if you remember, what answer did you give? Four was the answer Premper College gave, and four is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. It brings us to the end of round two. At the end of round two, ladies and gentlemen, Hope College, they had 35 points. Premper College with 40 points. Put your hands together for the two schools. <laughs> Contestants, you're welcome to round three. This is the STEM round. In this round, the questions will be posed to the two schools. You buzzing at any point while the question is being read for a maximum of 10 points for a correct answer. A deduction of five points for a wrong answer. The question will then be read fully and passed on as a bonus to the other school for a chance worth 10 points for a correct answer or a deduction of five points for a wrong answer. To the two schools, please listen carefully. A bucket of water with mass density P into brackets with units kilogram per meter cube, bracket closed, has a small hole in it at a depth H below the surface. Assuming that the viscosity of the water is negligible, which of the following quantities is the speed of the water as it exits the hole? A. Root into bracket 2 GH. Remember, college. A is the right answer. <laughs> to the two schools. A thin convex lens forms a real image of an object on a screen. If you add another thin lens in contact with a convex lens, it is now observed that a real image is formed at a longer distance. Which of the following statements is correct? A. The new lens added is a convex lens with a shorter focal length than the first lens. B. The new lens added is a convex lens with a longer focal length than the first lens. C. The new lens added is a concave lens with a shorter focal length than the first lens. D. The new lens added is a concave lens with a longer focal length than the first lens. The answer is D. The new lens added is a concave lens with a longer focal length than the first lens. To the two schools. The rate of a chemical reaction doubles for every 10 degrees Celsius rise in temperature due to the increase in the A, activation energy, B, collision frequency, C, reaction quotient, D, enthropy of the system. Prempe. B is the right answer. Which of the following is not a state function? A. Internal energy, B, Gibbs free energy, C, heat, D, Prepe. C. C is the right answer. <laughs> Oxygen gas can be produced by the decomposition of all of the following substances except A, calcium oxide, B, hydrogen peroxide, C, mercury 2 oxide, D, ozone. What I'm looking for is calcium oxide. To the two schools, 
black fur in mice, capital B, is dominant to brown fur, small b. Long tails, capital T, are dominant to short tails, small t. What fraction of the progeny of crosses? Capital B, small b, capital T, small t. Times capital B, capital B, small t, small t, will be expected to have black fur and short tails. A, 1 over 16. B, 3 over 16. C, 3 over 8. D, 1 over 2. Hope. 3 over 16. 3 over 16 is incorrect. The answer is 1 over 2. 1 over 2. To the two schools, please listen carefully. Your blood alternates between your body's pulmonary circuit and system circuit through various vessels and chambers. Below is a list of vessels and structures that are associated with your heart. What is the correct order for the flow of blood entering from the systemic circulation? One, right atrium. Two, left atrium. 3. Right ventricle. 4. Left ventricle. 5. Vena cava. 6. Iota. 7. Pulmonary trunk. 8. Pulmonary veins. These are your options now. A. 1. 7. 3. 8. 2. 4. 6. 5. B, 1, 2, 7, 8, 3, 4, 6, 5, C, 5, 1, 3, 8, 7, 2, to 4, and then to 6. D, from 5 to 1, 3, to seven, eight, to two, four, to six. Bailed out, unfortunately. I'm looking for D. D is from five to one, to three, to seven, eight, to four, and then six. Last two questions to end round three. In which direction does carbon dioxide move during internal respiration. In which direction does carbon dioxide move during internal respiration? A, from the tissue cells into the blood. B, from the blood, Prempe. E. A is the correct answer. <laughs> to the two schools. Decomposition is an important process for nutrient recycling and ecosystem functionality. Nitrogen-fixing bacteria form an important part of the process. Choose the correct statement from the following. Nitrogen-fixing bacteria. A. So choose the correct statement from the following nitrogen-fixing bacteria. A. Decompose protein to ammonia. B. Use atmospheric nitrogen to form nitrates. Hope. B. B is incorrect. Prempa, you buzzed. C. That's the right answer. Put your hands together for the contestants, ladies and gentlemen. While we wait for the scoreboard at the end of round three, we'll leave on stage our experts in English language as we begin round four. Put your hands together for the contestants, please. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round three, this is what the scoreboard says. It says that Hope College had minus 10 points, Prempa College had 45 points. Put your hands together, please. <laughs> Contestants, you welcome to round four, the one-on-one -on -one round, also known as the G-Money round. In this round, each school will receive 50 CDs from G-Money for every correct answer they give. 
to every answer that is asked. Please put your hands together for G Money. If you want to be part of the G Money family, please dial star 422 hash and join the G Money family. G Money, if I say Papa Naba, then you respond Chatum. G Money, Papa Naba. Chatum. Put your hands together for yourselves, please. In round four, we pair the schools, one team member against one team member. You face questions in English, math, science, and general knowledge. For each right answer, the schools can score a solid 10 points. The good news is there are no deductions in round four for a wrong answer. A lot can happen in round four. To the two schools, Mathia and Alex, I'll need you to provide me with this 11 letter word that starts with an S and ends with an S. This word means surplus or unneeded. Surplus are needed. Identify this 11 letter word which starts with an S and ends with an S. The answer I'm looking for is superfluous, superfluous. The last question in this English segment. Spell correctly, okay, by providing the missing letters. The word means to drag one's feet. The word means to drag one's feet. It is spelled as, as this. Dash, A, dash, D, L, E. Spell correctly by providing the missing letters. Dash A, dash D, L, E. Prepare. P, D is incorrect. Three seconds. Hope. S, N. No. The answers I'm looking for, D and W. The word is D, A, W, D, L, E. Put your hands together. Let's welcome on stage our experts in mathematics. Perry and Jeffrey, in 30 seconds, there are one third as many balls in bag A as are in bag B. If 10 balls are transferred from bag B to bag A, there will be half as many balls in A as are in bag B. How many balls were originally in bag B? The answer is 90, 90, 90 is the answer. Last question. The product of two prime numbers is 108. What is the magnitude of your difference? The magnitude of your difference is 57. Put your hands together for them, our science experts, please. Isaac and Ricky, you're welcome. Now, I need you to listen carefully, very carefully. Most of these animals possess a bilobed sebaceous gland known as uropegial gland. For hematopoiesis, these animals make use of a specialized organ called the bursa of fabricus. The largest order of these animals, the parsonaries, I'll take it again. The largest order of these animals, the passerines, is distinguished by the organization of the toes on the feet, with three facing forward and one facing backwards. Because some of these animals do not molt, the Humphrey Parks classification system was developed. All species of these animals use a ZW sex determination system as opposed to the mammalian XY system because, because they evolved from small theratops. Because they evolved from small theropods, some taxonomists consider these animals to be living dinosaurs. Prepare. Bet. Bet is the right answer. Yeah. To the two schools. The large area detector is designed for this phenomenon, which records into the central electronics unit of the 
Bates Instrument, B A T S E. In 2017, after detection of gravitational waves from a neutron star merger, nearby galaxy NGC 4993, this form of radiation was followed by rapid fading, by a rapid fading UV signal, and no X rays detected by the Swift Observatory. The brightest events in the known universe are caused by bursts of this radiation, for the point. Name this high-frequency radiation named after a Greek letter. Isaac. Gamma radiation. Gamma rays is the right answer. <laughs> Contestants, thank you. Let's invite on stage our experts in general knowledge. Frederick, David, you're welcome. You have 10 seconds to provide me with an answer to this question. The Bengali dish, pilaf, is traditionally based on this food. When mixed with curry, this food is the main ingredient in the Muslim Indian dish of biryani. When cooked with broth and wine, this food is used for the Italian dish risotto. In Japan, this food is used to wrap sushi. Basmati is an Indian aromatic form of this food. For the point, name this grain with which millet forms the basis of many East Asian diets. Name this grain which with millet forms the basis of many East Asian diets. Hope College. Rice. Rice is the correct answer. Oh. Last question to end round four. I need you to watch the screens and name this high jumper who won gold for Ghana at the 13th All Africa Games men division. Kadman Yamwa is the right answer. Put your hands together for them, please. Let's invite on stage all the other contestants. At the end of round four, ladies and gentlemen, Hope College, they had 10 points. And that, that translates to 50 CDs from G Money. Please put your hands together for G Money as well. At the end of round four, Premper College also had 20 points. And that translates to 100 CDs from G Money. Contestants, we've come to the end of the contest. We get to know what the scoreboard is telling us at the end of the four-round contest. At the end of the four-round contest, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, Hope College, they had 35 points. Please put your hands together for them. And making their way to the next stage of the competition, is Spremper College who won with 105 points. Put your hands together, please. Two debutants, but one unfortunately has to leave us here. Hope College, thank you so much for coming. Unfortunately, this will be the end of the road for you. But we know that we'll see you again next year, and we wish you all the best in your endeavors. Put your hands together for Hope College, please. <laughs> Another debutant, Premper College. They've made their way to the next stage of the competition. Congratulations, Premper. We'll see you at the next stage. We wish you all the best in your future contest. My name is Noble Cross Vienna and this is a Shark Squares Competition Season 7 Seniors Edition. We're back with another exciting contest. There it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another contest of the Shark Squares Competition Season 7. My name is Noble Cross Vienna and your quiz master. This contest is between two schools, St. Hubert Seminary from Kumasi and Agri Memorial School from the Central Region. Put your hands together, please. As we welcome the students from the schools who take their introductions, starting with St. Hubert Seminary. Gideon Nyako, final year, general science. Napa Fabian Balaman, general arts, final year. Boy T. John Mensah, general arts, final year. Baksung Deme Pedro John, General Science, final year. Please put your hands together for them. <laughs> Agri Memorial, your introductions. 
Edwin Basina, General Science, final year. Ivy Bebley, General Science, final year. Tando Ebenezer Tia, General Arts, final year. Jagwe Henry, General Science, final year. <laughs> Contestants, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, welcome to round one. The right corner round. This school has two minutes to answer eight questions on social literacy. A correct answer will attract 10 points. There is no penalty for a wrong answer. You can pass only one. Starting round one with Agri Memorial Senior High School. Your set of questions. The timer begins after I've read the first question. What type of unemployment occurs when labor voluntarily leaves a job in search of another? Pass. What type of cost is incurred as a result of expenses on the acquisition of fixed inputs? Pass. What term is given to the various quantities of goods and services that consumers are willing and able to buy at a given price over a period of time? Pass. In which type of demand do two or more goods compete for the consumer's income just because they can be used in place of the other? Pass. In which year was the African Cup of Nations tournament first held? 1960. Incorrect. Which country hosted the first African Cup of Nations tournament? Egypt. That is correct. Which country won the first African Cup of Nations Egypt. tournament trophy? Egypt. That is also correct. In which year did the African football tournament switch to odd numbered years of hosting? 1963. Incorrect. You pass a few questions. Question one. What type of unemployment occurs when labor voluntarily leaves a job in search of another? Green dream. No. What type of cost is incurred as a result of expenses on the acquisition of fixed inputs? Preference. No. What term is given to the various quantities of goods and services that consumers are willing and able to buy at a given price over a period of time? Scale of preference. No. Demand. In which type of demand do two or more goods compete for the consumer's income just because they can be used in place of the other? That answer is competitive demand. Please put your hands together for Agri Memorial Senior High School. St. Hubert, the type of demand in which one good can be purchased or consumed without the other is called? What name is given to costs that are incurred by the entire economy? Which is the most successful African Cup of Nations tournament nation? Egypt. That is true. How many times has Egypt won the African Cup of Nations Tournament Trophy? Eight. No. In which year was the number of participants in the African Cup of Nations Tournament Trophy increased to 16? Plus. In which year was the African Cup of Nations Tournament moved from January to June? Plus. To pass question number two, the type of demand in which one good cannot be purchased or consumed without the other is called? Plus. What name is given to costs that are incurred by the entire economy? Total costs. Social costs is the answer. The situation in which identical units of a commodity produced by the same firm at the same unit cost are sold at different prices to different consumers is referred to us. Price, Price discrimination. Your seventh question, which year was the number of participants in the African Cup of Nations tournament's trophy increased to 16? The time is up. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Contestants, that's round one for you. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round one, this is what the scoreboard is telling us. St. Hubert Seminary and Senior High School, they had 10 points. Leading round one is Agri Memorial Senior High School. They had 20 points. <laughs> Contestants, you're welcome to round two. This is the r cubed round. In this round, the questions will focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school is posed a question. A right answer will attract 10 points. A bonus will attract 5 points. Deduction of 5 points for your wrong answer. Before we begin round two, let's take some substitutions from the schools.
For Agri Memorial, who do we have here? Joey Kelvin, General Science, final year. And for St. Hubert Seminary, who do we have here? Steven Yakumensa, General Science, final year. Put your hands together for them, please. I'll start round two with St. Hubert Seminary and Junior High, Senior High School. But this is a preamble to the two schools. I need you to choose the best synonym for the highlighted word as used in the sentence. Best synonym. St. Hubert, your major question. The notice said that the meeting would begin precisely at 9 a.m. Precisely is highlighted. A, concisely. B, approximately. C, exactly. D, accurately. Exactly. That's the right answer. <laughs> Agri Memorial, all incoming and outgoing mail is censored by the government during the times of war. Censored is the highlighted word. A, distributed, confiscated, checked, examined. Examined. That's the right answer. The ascending, the ascending temperature in many parts of the world confirms global warming, which is an environmental hazard. Ascending is highlighted. A, rising. B, falling. C, shooting. D, mountain. A, rising. That's the right answer. Agri Memorial, this is your major question. It is risky to go beyond this barricade. Risky is highlighted. A, Stupid, B, adventurous, C, hazardous, D, inadvisable. C. This is correct. <laughs> this is a preamble to the two schools. Choose the odd one out. St. Hubert, your major question. Abridge, truncate, summarize, pad out. Truncate. No. Bonus. Belled out, the answer I'm looking for is pad out. Pad out is the answer I'm looking for. Agri Memorial, your major question, odd one out. Whim, impulse, inevitability, inclination. E. No, bonus. Yes. Inevitability. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Hubert, your major question, odd one out. Dissolute, licentious. Profligate, ascetic. Bonus. The answer is D. That's what I'm looking for. Agri Memorial, this is your major question. Aberrant, idiosyncrasy, eccentric, prosaic. Bonus, human. Prosaic is what I'm looking for. Contestants, let's do some maths. Starting with St. Hubert. Frankie's design shop charges 20,000 CDs to make the first copy of a pendant and 15 CDs to make each additional copy. Ben's design shop, 12,000 CDs to make the first copy and 20 CDs for each additional copy. How many copies must be ordered in order for the amounts paid at both shops to be equal? Hubert. 1,600. 1,600 is correct. Agri Memorial, your major question. Two bits have come in for a printing job. The first will charge a fee of 500 CDs and then three CDs per copy. The second charges a fee of 300 CDs and then seven CDs per copy. How many copies would be needed for these two bits to cost the same amount? Yes, Hubert. 50. 50 is the correct answer. <laughs> Hubert, this is your major question. If a car can travel 15 kilometers per liter of petrol 
and petrol costs 12 cities per liter. How many kilometers can a car travel on 600 cities worth of petrol? Hubert? 750 kilometers. Pedro, 750 kilometers is correct. <laughs> Agri Memorial, if diesel costs 12 cities per liter, then approximately how much will it cost to drive 600 kilometers in a truck that covers 20 kilometers per liter? Edwin. 360 cities. 360 cities is the right answer. Put your hands together. <laughs> so, Hubert, this is your major question. If 3A is equal to 4B and 2B equal to 3C equal to 10, then what is 24BC over A? What is 24BC over A? Donos, Agri Memorial. The answer is 66-0. Agri Memorial, this is your major question. If 4x equal to 5y and 2x equal to 3z equal to 16, what is 12xz over 10y? Five seconds, St. Hubert. The answer is eight. Eight is the answer. St. Hubert, this is your major question. What is the area of an equilateral triangle with perimeter 24? Pedro? 16 root 3. 16 root 3 is correct. The internal angles of a triangle are in their ratio 1 to 1 to 2. If the area of the triangle is 32, what is the length of the longer side of the triangle? St. Hubert, you want it for bonus? 8 root 2. 8 root 2 is also correct. <laughs> the test has come to the end of round 2. Before we begin round 3, this is what the scoreboard is telling us at the end of round 2. So at the end of round 2, ladies and gentlemen, Agri Memorial Senior High School, they had 35 points. In Hubert Seminary and Senior High School also had 60 points. Put your hands together for them. Please. Contestants, you're welcome to the STEM round. In this round, questions will be posed to both schools. You buzz at any time to answer. While the question is being read for a maximum of 10 points for a correct answer, a bonus worth 10 points, a deduction of 5 points for a wrong answer. To the two schools, which of the following does not involve friction? A. Writing on a paper using a pencil. B. Turning a car to the left on a horizontal road. C. A car at rest. St. Hubert, D. D is the correct answer. <laughs> to the two schools, for a reaction that is spontaneous at minus 100 Celsius, but not spontaneous at 200 Celsius, 200, 100 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Celsius, what must be true about the reaction? A, the reaction is endothermic and the equilibrium constant is less than zero. B, enthalpy change less than zero, and the change in enth entropy is also less than zero. C, the reaction is endothermic and decreases entropy. D, the reaction is exothermic and increases entropy. St. Hubert. D. No. Agree. C. C. No. B is the answer. 
to the two schools, removing all lone pairs of electrons on the central atom of chlorine trifluoride would change the geometry. Removing all lone pairs of electrons from the central atom of chlorine trifluoride would change the geometry. A. From trigonal pyramidal to trigonal planar. B. From T-shaped to trigonal planar. C. From trigonal bipyramidal to trigonal pyramidal. D. From trigonal bipyramidal to trigonal planar. The answer is B, from T-shaped to trigonal planar. A few more questions to end round three. The Arabidopsis plant utilizes a range of post-translational modifications to the genome as a means of regulating gene expression. These include, activating, these include activation of genes by histone, acetylation, and methylation of DNA. Which of the following statements does not correctly describe the mechanism or impact of these modifications in the plant cell? A. Addition of DNA and histone modifications in the cell is performed by protein-based enzymes. B. Lysine acetylation leads to a tighter association of histone proteins with DNA in the promoter regions. C. DNA methylation patterns can be propagated to daughter strands after DNA replication. D. The covalent addition of methyl groups of plant DNA is reversible in the cell. There are some questions. Immediately you finish reading and you look at the posturing of the students, you know that they will not answer. <laughs> To the two schools, tissue culture can be used to generate whole plants from single cells in the laboratory. In the double haploid technique, a haploid cell is obtained from a plant and induced to double in chromosome and induced to double in chromosome number without cell division. A plant breeder would like to try the method on a diploid robes variety. Which of the following would be a suitable source of haploid cells to begin this procedure? A. Endosperm. B. Meristem. C. Sporophyte. D. Pollen grains. E. Flower buds. Pedro. Pollen grains. Pollen grains is the correct answer. <laughs> Which scientists is incorrectly matched with his or her discoveries. A. Frederick Griffith to the discovery of transformation through bacteriophages. B. Hershey and Chase to the discovery of DNA as the hereditary material of cells. C. Shagaf to the discovery that relative amount of nucleotide bases varies among organisms. D. Waston and Crick to the discovery of the double helix tract of DNA. D. Hubert. D. D. Incorrect. Agre. B. B. No. A. That's correct. All of the following are similarities in the functions of a cell in the reproductive systems of males and females, except A. Granulosa and Sertoli cells can both secrete inhibin, which downregulates follicle stimulating hormone secretion. B. Theca and Lydic cells both increase their hormone production in response to follicle stimulating hormone. C. The fallopian tubules and vas deferens both transport gametes from the gonad toward the site of fertilization. D. Estrogen and testosterone levels contribute negative feedback on gonadotropin release hormone. E. All of the above are correct. For no marks, you have an answer? Do you? It's B. 
thicker and lighter cells both increase their hormone production in response to follicle stimulating hormone. Please put your hands together for the contestants. <laughs> Let's leave on stage our young English experts, please. John versus Henry. At the end of round three, ladies and gentlemen, Agri Memorial Senior High School, they had minus five points. St. Hubert Seminary and Senior High School, they had five points. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Contestants, you're welcome to the fourth round, the one-on-one -on -one round, also known as the G-Money round. In this round, we pair up one team member with their counterpart from the other team. You'll face questions in English, math, science, and general knowledge. For each right answer, school scored 10 points. No deductions for a wrong answer. In this round, every correct answer comes with 50 CDs from g -Money. And g -Money is asking you to be part of the family by dialing star 422 hash. If I say g -Money, I say Papa Naba, then you respond Chatum. g -Money, Papa Naba. Chatum. Henry, you're welcome. Johnny, you're welcome. In English language, provide the missing letters for the word. Meaning, allowing light, but not detailed shapes to pass through. It is spelled dash R A N S dash U C E N dash. Agre. T L and S. T L and S. No. Unfortunately, you've been bailed out. So the missing letters are T, L, and T. Sorry, 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 sorry. To the two schools, provide the missing letters for the word, meaning serving as a desirable model. Serving as a desirable model. It is spelled as this. E dash, E M dash, L A R dash. E dash E M dash L A R dash. Hubert. E X and Y. A E P and Y. Unfortunately, Hubert, I cannot give this to you. I'm sure you understand why. A chance at a bonus to Agri Memorial. E X and E. That is incorrect. The answer is X, P, and Y, exemplary. That's what I'm looking for. Let's bring on stage our expert in mathematics, please. John, you're welcome. Edwin, you're welcome. In mathematics, you have 30 seconds to answer this question. If it is now March, okay, if it is now March, what month will it be 256 months from now? Agree. July. July, yes. <laughs> to the two schools, the product of two numbers is equal to their sum. If one of the numbers is nine, what is the other number? Pedro. They have six. Six? No. Agree. Nine and eight. Say again. Nine and eight. Nine on eight. Nine on eight is correct. Nine on eight is correct. <laughs> Expert in science, please join us. Kelvin, Stephen, welcome. A good estimation of this property can be calculated by taking the square root of the cohesive energy density to obtain the Hildebrand parameter. That parameter of this property is used for estimating the chi parameter to determine this property for polymers in Flory Huggins theory. This property's product constant can be determined for a salt via multiplication of this property for the dissociated ions in moles per liter. The ratio of this property for a substance in octanol versus in water is used to define the partition coefficient. Henry's law gives a relation of partial pressure to this property of a gas and liquid. For the point, name this property the amount of solute that will dissolve in a given volume of solvent. 
Agree. Go out. And bonus. Solubility. Solubility is the right answer. <laughs> to the two schools, these objects can be depressed by a change of variables, which helped Lodovico Ferrari and Girolamo Cardano find formulas solving these objects. The Rodrigues formula can be used to compute members of an orthogonal set of these objects named for Adrian Murray Legendary. The fundamental theorem of algebra guarantees that for the complex numbers, the only irreducible examples of these objects are linear. The power rule is used to take the derivative of these functions. The abel ruffini theorem proves that these functions are not generally solvable for degrees greater than or equal to five for the point. Name this class of functions which can be expressed as sums of monomial terms. Monomial terms. Anybody knows polynomials? That's the answer I'm looking for. Put your hands together for them. Let's invite our stage. Our expert in general knowledge. General knowledge. Ebeneza and Nyakbab, you're welcome. Listen carefully. When climbing this mountain, okay, the first solid rock that most climbers cross is the yellow band formation. This mountain is separated from Lutz by the South COL, by the South Coal which is home to the Kumbu Icefall. This Himalayan mountain was first climbed by Tenzing Nogai and Sir Edmund Hillary for 10 points. Name this mountain on the Nepal-China border, the highest mountain above, you bet. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the right answer. <laughs> To the two schools, watch the screen and identify this Ghanaian athlete who won silver medal at the 13th Africa Games. Agree. Yamwak -ka Kana. Yamwak Kama, no. His name is William Amponsa. Put your hands together for the contestants. Let's have the others. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round four, here are our scores. St. Hubert Seminary and Senior High School, they had 20 points. Agri Memorial Senior High School also had 20 points. Put your hands together. <laughs> Contestants, we've come to the end of the four round contest, and we have a winner. At the end of the four round contest, ladies and gentlemen, St. Hubert Seminary, the debutant, they've made it to the next stage of the competition as they won the contest with 95 points. Unfortunately, this will be the end of the road for Ivory Memorial Senior High School. They came second with 70 points. Ivory <laughs> Memorial, unfortunately, this will be the end of the road for you. Wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Hopefully, we'll see you next year and you improve upon your position in this year's contest. St. Hubert, congratulations on making it to the next stage of the contest, but it gets tougher. Wish you all the best in the future contest. My name is Noble Cross Vian and this is the Shark Squares Competition Season 7, Seniors Edition. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.
Ladies and gentlemen, another group of brightest minds have gathered in yet another exciting contest. We're calling this the Kumasi Derby between two schools all from the Ashanti region. Put your hands together, make welcome Kumasi Girls Senior High School and Kumasi Academy Senior High School, please. Contestants, you're welcome. We'll get to know who the schools are being represented by starting with Kumasi Girls Senior High School. Lordina Kwatim, final year student. Belfi Perfect, final year student. Jessica Boachi, final year student. Maureen Jane, final year student. Please put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> the ladies are scoring it off against Kumasi Academy and they are represented by Anonymous Kobe, General Science, final year. Usubana in each house, general at final year. Bodu Ampoya Lucas, general at final year. Dominic Saikufi, general science final year. Put your hands together for them too. <laughs> Contestants, you're welcome to round one, the right corner round. You have two minutes to answer eight questions on social literacy. A correct answer will attract 10 points. There's no bonus, no deductions in this round. I'm starting round one with Kumasi Academy. The timer begins after I read the first question. What are the nationalities of the following CAF presidents? Abdulaziz Abdullah Salem. Egypt. Abdulaziz Mustafa. Egypt. Abdul Halim Mohammed. Egypt. No. Patrice Mosepe. South Africa. In which year did the Ahanta people rebel against the Dutch? Pass. Which Ahanta king led a rebellion against the Dutch in 1837? Pass. Two Fanti warriors led the Fantis in their migration from Techiman. One was Osun, the other was... Obriman Kuma. No. Which other Europeans drove the Swedish out of the Fanti town of Gutri? Pass. You pass a few questions. Question number five. In which year did the Hunter people rebel against the Dutch? 1878. No. You pass question number six. Which a hunter king led a rebellion against the Dutch in 1837? Nana, answer. Nana, answer. That is incorrect. You pass question number eight. Which other Europeans drove the Swedish out of the Fanti town of Butri? The Dutch. The Dutch. That's the right answer. Put your hands together for them, please. Master <laughs> girls, your set of questions. The timer begins after I've read the first question. Who became the first president of the Confederation of African Football? Pass. What are the nationalities of the following CAF presidents? Issa Hayatu. Pass. Ahmed Ahmad. Pass. Constant Omari Salimani. Pass. From which Asian kingdom does the Ahanta people originate? Pass. In which year did the Ahanta and the Dutch sign the Treaty of Butri? When did the Treaty of Butre collapse? Pass. Which Enzima chief seized Fort Fredericksburg from the Dutch? Pass. Your set of questions all over again. Who became the first president of the Confederation of African Football? Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz is incorrect. What are the nationalities of the following CAP presidents? Issa Hayatu. Egypt. No. Ahmad Ahmad. South Africa. No. Constant Omari Selimani. From which Asian kingdom does the Ahanta people originate? Pass. In which year did the Ahanta and the Dutch sign the Treaty of Butri? 1965. That is incorrect. When did the Treaty of Butri collapse? Pass. Last question. Which is the chief sees Fort Fredericksburg from the Dutch? Put your hands together for Kumasi Girls Senior High School. <laughs> Contestants have come to the end of round one. We have three more rounds to go. Take some substitutions from Kumasi Girls. Another substitution from Kumasi Academy as well. For Kumasi Girls, who do we have here? Oh, for Sue Stephanie, General Science Final Year. Thank you. Please put your hands together for her. <laughs> and for... For Kumasi Academy, who do we have here? And Adam Marvin Inge. Put your hands together for Marvin. 
At the end of round one, ladies and gentlemen, Kumasi Girls Senior High School, they had zero points. Kumasi Academy are leading round one with 40 points. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Contestants, I'm starting round two with Kumasi Girls Senior High School. This is our cube round. The questions will focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school is posed a question. The right answer will attract 10 points. Bonus. Five points, deducting five points for your wrong answer. This is a preamble to the two schools. I'll need you to choose the odd one out. Kumasi girls, indignation, gaiety, vexation, violence. Gaiety. That's correct. <laughs> your major question, Kumasi Academy. The odd one out, brave, valiant, irresolute. Manful, brave, valiant, irresolute, manful. Yes. Irresolute. Irresolute is correct. Kumasi girls, bashful, coy, intrepid, reticent. Bonus, Kumasi Academy. Bashful. No, intrepid is the correct answer. Kumasi Academy, this is your major question. Ghana, distribute, accumulate, collect. Yes. Distribute. Distribute is the correct answer. This is a preamble to the two schools. Give the best explanation to the following idioms. Your major question, Kumasi girls. To draw the long bow. To draw the long bow. A. To overestimate oneself. B. To put up high demands. C. To demand a very high price. D. To make an exaggerated statement. D. That's the right answer. Major question to Master Academy. To hit the jackpot. To hit the jackpot. A. To gamble. B. To make money unexpectedly. C. To inherit money. D. To become bankrupt. Yes. D. D is incorrect. Bonus. C. C is incorrect. The answer is B. To make money unexpectedly. Kumasi girls, this is your major question. A tall order. A tall order. Your options simple, demanding, customary, tall list. Tall list. Incorrect. Bonus. Kumasi Academy. The answer is demanding. Demanding is the answer. Kumasi Academy, this is your major question. To drink like a fish. A, to drink water. B, to drink alone. C, to be a drunkard. D, to drink in the company of others. C. C is correct. Put your hands together for them. Contestants, let's do some maths. In 30 seconds, your major question, Kumasi girls. If 2x is equal to 5y... What percentage of Y is X? Bonus to Kumasi Academy. 40%. 40% is incorrect. It is 250%. Your major question, Kumasi Academy. If 40% of X is equal to 60% of Y, what percent of Y is X? Yes. 66.6%. That is incorrect. Bonus. The answer I'm looking for is 150%. Kumasi girls, this is your major question. If the sum of five consecutive odd numbers is 125, what is the least of these numbers? Yes. Five. Five, no. Bonus. Twenty-three. Twenty-three, no. Twenty-one. Your major question, Kumasi Academy. If the sum of seven consecutive even numbers is 210, what is the average of the least and highest numbers in the list? Yes. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight, no. Bonus to Kumasi girls. The answer is 30. 
30 is the answer. Come on, so girls, this is your major question. 200 ml of a 30% salt solution was added to 300 ml of a 20% salt solution. What is the percentage of salt in the final mixture? Donuts to Kumasi Academy. The answer is 24%. 24%. Kumasi Academy, this is your major question. How many balls weighing 36 grams per ball must be added to 50 balls weighing 30 grams per ball in order to have a bag of balls with an average weight of 32 grams per ball? Donuts to Kumasi girls. You need to add 25. 25. Kumasi girls, this is your major question. If x plus y plus z equal to 20 and x plus y plus 4z equal to 50, what is the value of z? Yes, come on to girls. 10. 10 is the correct answer. <laughs> Last question in this round, Kumasi Academy, and it is yours. If x raised to the power 2 plus 3x minus 20 is equal to 0, what is x raised to the power 2 plus 3x minus 4? Marvin. 16. 16 is the correct answer. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Contestants, we've come to the end of round two. At the end of round two, ladies and gentlemen, Kumasi Academy had 10 points. Kumasi Girls had 15 points. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Contestants, you're welcome to round three, the STEM round. In this round, the questions will be posed to both schools. You buzz in at any point while the question is being read to answer for a maximum of 10 points. If you get it wrong, there's a deduction of 5 points. There's a bonus also worth 10 points in this round. To the two schools, if you're ready, let's do this. During a safari trip in Qatar, a car starts from rest moving eastward. If the net force acting on the car is directly proportional to T exponent 2, where T denotes time, what would the car's kinetic energy be proportional to? A, T exponent 2, B, T exponent 3, C, T exponent 4, D, T exponent 6. The answer is D, T exponent 6. To the two schools, suppose our scientific community had chosen force speed and time as a fundamental mechanical quantities instead of length, mass and time respectively and they chose the respective units of magnitudes 10 newton 100 meter per second and 1 over 100 seconds. Then the unit of mass in their system is equivalent to dash in our system. A, 10 exponent 3 kg. B, 10 exponent minus 3 kg. C, 10 kg. D, 10 exponent minus 1 kg. <laughs> 10 exponent minus 3 kg. To the two schools, at the triple point of water, 0 0.01 degrees Celsius, 0.006 atmospheres. In which phase would 1.0 mole of water have the lowest entropy? A, solid. B, liquid. C, gas. D, it would have the same entropy in all three phases. The answer is solid. 
solid is the answer. To the two schools, how many possible dipepsides can be formed using the 20 commonly occurring amino acids? A, 40, B, 200, C, 210, D, 400. Maureen. 200. No, it's 400. To the two schools, which is the best explanation for the higher reactivity of conjugated dynings relative to non-conjugated alkenes in electrophilic addition reactions? A. Conjugated dynings can form alitic cations on reactions with electrophiles, while non-conjugated alkenes cannot. B. Conjugated dynings have more potentially reactive sites than do non-conjugated alkenes. C. The pi bonding in conjugated dynings is weaker than the pi bonding in conjugated alkenes. D. Conjugated dynings are non-planar while non-conjugated alkenes are planar. The answer is A. Moving on. Filamentous cyanobacteria have special thick walled structures called heterocytes that help in nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen from the atmosphere is fixed by the enzyme nitrogenase present in heterocytes and converted to ammonia using ATP as a source of energy. Nitrogenase is very sensitive to inactivation by oxygen. Which of the following modifications will allow heterocytes to effectively carry out nitrogen fixation? A. High chlorophyll content. B. Lack of filter system 2 activity. C. Enhanced CO2 fixation. D. Low respiratory rate. The answer I'm looking for is B. Your next question. A scientist is growing corn in a greenhouse, aiming to achieve mass production. She is concerned that her greenhouse is getting too hot from too much light. She seeks to shade the greenhouse with colored translucent plastic sheets. What color of sheets should she choose in order to reduce overall light energy while still maintaining maximum plant growth? A, green, B, blue, C, orange, D, any color will do. Yes. Green. Green, no. Yes. Orange. Orange, no. To the two schools, a small population of monkeys from Africa, the old world, are thought to have drifted to South America, new world, on natural rafts about 40 million years ago. There were no monkeys in the New World. On reaching South America, these monkeys bred and over time looked very different from the monkeys in Africa. They formed new species. Arrange the evolutionary processes that would lead to the formation of the new species. A. Migration to adaptation to natural selection. B. Genetic drift to natural selection to adaptation. C, natural selection to adaptation to genetic drift. D, adaptation to genetic drift to natural selection. The answer is B. The answer is B. Last question to bring this round to an end. Developing diagnostics for the Zika virus has proven to be difficult due to cross-reactivity displays displayed by antibodies for their flaviviruses. If a person has been previously exposed to certain flaviviruses, i.e. yellow fever or West Nile virus, then he or she may have antibodies which diagnostics erroneously attribute to Zika virus exposure. The issue stems from antibodies that resulted from a prior immune response. 
And the classic immune response, which cells are primarily responsible for the production of antibodies? A, microphages. B, eosinophils. C, plasma cells. D, lymphocytes. Kumasi Academy. D, no. Kumasi Girls. C. Plasma cells is correct. <laughs> While we wait for the scoreboard at the end of round three, let's leave on stage our experts in English language, please. <laughs> at the end of round three, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, Kumasi Girls, they had minus five points. Kumasi Academy had minus ten points. Put your hands together for the two schools. Contestants, you're welcome to round four, the one-on-one -on -one round, also known as the G-Money round. In this round, each school will receive 50 CDs from G-Money for every correct answer they give. And to get your G-Money wallet now, please dial star 422 hash. If I say G-Money and I add Papa Naba, then you respond Chatum. G-Money, Papa Naba. Chatum. In round four, we pair up one team member against their counterpart from the other team. You face questions in English, in math, in science, and general knowledge. Each right answer comes with 10 points, no deductions in this round. Dominic, Jessica, identify the six-letter word which begins with F and ends in an E. The word means changing frequently means changing frequently six letter word begins with f ends with an e 10 seconds the word is fickle fickle is the word complete the analogy wolf is to pack as fish is to come on to the academy School. School is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Let's bring our experts in mathematics, please. Marvin, Stephanie, in 30 seconds, give me this answer. Since the beginning of 2000, the number of squirrels in a certain forest reserve has tripled during every four year period of time. If there were 1,620 squirrels in the forest, at the beginning of 2016. How many squirrels were in the wooded area at the beginning of 2000? What's the academy? 40. 40. No. Yes, right on time. 60. Say again. 60. 60. No. 20 is correct. To the two schools. What is the maximum number of smaller groups made up of three or more students that can be formed from a larger group of 60 students? What's the academy? 33,060. 33,060 is incorrect. What's the girls? Belter, the answer I was looking for is 20. Contestants, thank you. Let's invite on stage our expert team. Science, please. Maureen and Max Colby, you're welcome. The impedance of the simple circuit element that is measured in this quantity is equal to the reciprocal imaginary number times angular frequency times this quantity. In the simplest geometry, this quantity whose reciprocal is elastance What's the academy? Capacitance. Capacitance is the correct answer. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> to the two schools, Samuel Shenton founded an international research society for this position. Samuel Robotham's review of data published on the Bedford level experiment resulted in him spreading the modern conception of this position with the creation of the Zetetic Society for the point name this position held by some where the earth is believed to be 2D rather than spherical. Flat 
earth. Flat earth. Put your hands together for them. General knowledge, please join us. Lucas, Lordina, welcome. This country is home to the Mosorian Canal, which links its namesake lake district to the Baltic Sea. Cities in this country include Katowice and Krakow. This country is also home to the Auschwitz, Bracano Memorial and Museum. For 10 points, name this Eastern European country with the capital Warsaw. Poland. Unfortunately, he buzzed, so I'll take it from him. Poland is the right answer. Last question to end this round. Identify this Ghanaian gold medalist high jumper, female. Yeah. Yes. Rose Amunima. Rose Amunima Yeboa is correct. Put your hands together. <laughs> At the end of round four, ladies and gentlemen. Kumasi Girls Senior High School, they had zero points. Kumasi Academy had 40 points. Kumasi Academy, they are taking 200 cities from G Money. Please put your hands together for G Money. At the end of the four round contest, ladies and gentlemen, Kumasi Girls Senior High School, at the end of the contest, they had 10 points. Ladies and gentlemen, winning this contest is Kumasi Academy with 80 points. Gentlemen, congratulations. You've made it to the next stage of the competition. Wish you all the best. But I must tell you that it gets tougher going forward. Wish you all the best in your other contests. Kumasi girls, unfortunately, this will be the end of the road for you. But thank you so much for coming. Hopefully, we'll see you again the next time. And we'll trust that you do better than you did. Please put your hands together for Kumasi girls. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, my name is Noble Crosby and your quiz master. We're back with another clash of intellect and wit. I'll see you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sharks Quiz Competition Season 7, Seniors Edition. My name is Noble Crosbian and your quiz master. It's time for another showdown, this time between Accra Academy and Tamale Girls Senior High School. Please make welcome the two schools. <laughs> Let's go straight into it. We're starting with introductions of the two schools, beginning with the school to my left, Tamale Girls. Nunya Subliman, General Arts, Final Year. Nasra Ahmed, General Arts, Final Year. Aisha Sunseya Bashiru, General Science, Final Year. Beautiful. Jessica Wemaks, General Science, Final Year. Put your hands together for Tamale Girls, please. <laughs> well, the ladies are facing the gentlemen from Accra Academy, represented by... Ironadu, General Science, Final Year. Samuel Peter, General Science, Final Year. Kublenu Arthur Tete, General Science, Final Year. Mustafa Abdul Wahab, General Science, Final Year. Put your hands together for them as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, welcome to round one. This is the right corner round. You have two minutes to answer eight questions on social literacy. Ten points for a correct answer. There's no penalty for a wrong answer, but you can pass only once. Contestants, I'm beginning round one with Accra Academy. The timer begins after I've read the first question. Which is the longest estuary in the world? Pass. Which country is known to have the best quality tap water? 
Pass. What is the thickness of the mantle layer of the Earth? Pass. What is the hottest layer of atmosphere? Pass. Identify the months in which the following festivals are celebrated in Ghana. Homo Festival. August. Abwatri Festival. Pass. Bakatwe Festival. Pass. Asafutufian Festival. August. You passed a few questions, starting with question number one. Which is the longest estuary in the world? Vuta Estuary. No. Which country is known to have the best quality tap water? Singapore. No. What is the thickness of the mantle layer of the earth? 1,200 kilometers. That is incorrect. Question number four. What is the hottest layer of atmosphere? Thermosphere. That is true. You pass question number six. Identify the month in which the following festivals are celebrated at Boatri Festival. September. No. Bakatui Festival. March. No, July. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Come on, the girls in your high school, your set of questions. You have two minutes to answer eight questions. The timer begins after I've read the first question. What is the lowest layer of the atmosphere? Pass. Which layer of the atmosphere has the most water vapor? Pass. In which ocean can we find coral reefs? Pass. In which country can we find the Gulf of Ob? Pass. Identify the months in which the following festivals are celebrated in Ghana. Uguafe to Afashe. Pass. Hongbe Chocho. November. That is true. Feuk Festival. Pass. Fao Festival. Pass. He passed a few questions, starting with question number one. What is the lowest layer of the atmosphere? Stratosphere. That is incorrect. Which layer of the atmosphere has the most water vapor? Hemosphere. No. In which ocean can we find coral reefs? Pacific Ocean. That is true. He passed question number four as well. In which country can we find the Gulf of Ob? Obi. Keep a good hope. No. Pass question number five. Identify the months in which the following festivals are celebrated in Ghana. Ugwa Fetua Fashe. July. No, it is September. You pass question number seven. Feuk Festival. Feuk Festival. F E O K. November. No. December. F A O Festival. F A O Festival. December. Say again. December. No. January. Put your hands together for them, please. Contestants, we've come to the end of round one. At the end of round one, ladies and gentlemen, Tamale Girls Senior High School, they had 20 points. Accra Academy had 30 points. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Before we begin round two, let's take some substitutions. For Accra Academy, who do we have here? I'm for Baldwin, General Science, final year. I'm for your welcome. How about Tamale Girls? Apia Josephine at Tampaka General Science Final Year. Josephine, you're welcome. Contestants, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching us at home, welcome to round two, the Alcube round. The questions will focus on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each school is supposed to question. Right answer attracts 10 points. Wrong answer will attract a deduction of 5 points. A bonus is worth 5 points. I'll start round two with Tamale Girls. But this is a preamble to the two schools, and I need you to listen carefully. Complete the idiom. The explanation to the idiom will be given. Your idiom is this, Tamale girls. Far in the dash, meaning to be extremely angry. Complete it. Chance of the bonus to Accra Academy. Pass. Accra Academy, this is your major question. To take dash, meaning to be vexed. To take dash, complete it. It means to be vexed. To take offense. To take offense is correct. <laughs> Tamale girls, something up one's dash. Something up one's dash. It means a secret plan. Sleep. That's true. A crack at me, your major question. Dash ill meaning unadulterated water. Adam's ill. Adam's ill meaning unadulterated water. There's a preamble to the two schools. I need you to choose the best synonym of the following words. Best synonym of the following words. 
Your word, Tamale girls. Lethargy. A, vigor. B, impassivity. A is vigor. B is impassivity. C is serenity. And D is listlessness. Donors, Accra Academy. D. D, listlessness is the right answer. Accra Academy, your word is this. Verate. Verate. A. Remonstrate. B. Judge. C. Downgrade. D. Deny. E. That's correct. <laughs> Tamala yells, your word. Moribund. Moribund. Your options. Stagnant. Gloomy. Dying. Superfluous. B. Say again. B. B is incorrect. Donors. D. D. No, it's dying. Accra Academy, your word, rebate. A, loss. B, refund. C, compensation. D, discount. Compensation. No. Donors, Tamale girls. A. No, discount. Let's do some math, contestants. Starting with Tamale girls. In 30 seconds, after the first term in a sequence of positive integers, okay, the ratio of each term to the term immediately preceding it is 2 to 1. What is the ratio of the eighth term in this sequence to the fifth term? Accra Academy, take it for a bonus if you want it. Pass. 8 to 1. Accra Academy, a major question. In a sequence, okay? Each term after the first term is B, more than the preceding term. If the fifth term is 25, and the eighth term is 37. What is the third term? 17. 17, correct. <laughs> Tamala girls, there are 20% more students in school A than in school B. If there are 600 students in school A, how many students are in school B? Donors to Accra Academy. Five. Five, ladies and gentlemen, is incorrect. Accra Academy, your major question. The price of an item was discounted by 40%. If the item now sells at $300, what was the marketed price? What was the marked price? Accra Academy. $750. $750 is incorrect. Bonus. $500. $500 is correct. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Some other girls. The interior angle of a regular polygon is five times its exterior angle. What is the value of each interior angle? Accra Academy bonus. Pass. Pass. 150 degrees. Accra Academy, this is your major question. The interior angle of a regular polygon, okay? It's three times its exterior angle. How many sides has this polygon? Yes. Eight. Eight, ladies and gentlemen, is not wrong. <laughs> Tamale girls, how many two digits odd numbers have distinct digits? Donors, Accra Academy. 40 ways. Say again. 40 ways. 40 ways. It's correct. <laughs> Accra Academy, this is your major question and the last question to end round two. How many two digits even numbers have distinct digits? Forty. Yes. Say again. Forty. Forty is incorrect. Chance of the bonus. The answer I'm looking for is forty-one. Put your hands together for them, please.
contestants, that ends round two. We have two more rounds to go. We'll get to know what the scoreboard says at the end of Me. round Me. two. At the end of round two, ladies and gentlemen, Tamale Girls had five points. Accra Academy had 35 points. Please put your hands together for them. <laughs> contestants, you're welcome to round three. In this round, the questions are posed to both schools. You buzz at any time to answer. Correct answer, 10 points. Wrong answer, deduction, 5 points. Bonus, worth 10 points. To the two schools, you buzz to answer. A boy throws a steel ball straight up. Consider the motion of the ball only after it has left the boy's hand. But before it touches the ground and assume that forces exerted by the air are these conditions. The forces acting on the ball is or are a, a downward force of gravity along with a steadily decreasing upward force. B, a steadily decreasing upward force from the moment it leaves the boy's hand until it reaches the highest point. On the way down, there is a steadily increasing downward force of gravity as the object gets closer to the earth. C, constant downward force of gravity along with an upward force that steadily decreases until the ball reaches its highest point. On the way down, there's only a constant downward force of gravity. D, constant downward force of gravity only. Tamala like girls. A. A, no. Accra Academy. C. C, no. D. To the two schools, the takeoff speed of Airbus A340. Airbus A340 is 288 kilometers per hour. From the taxi track, it comes to the main runway and waits for a while for the final clearance from air traffic control. The aircraft then achieves this speed within 50 seconds. Neglecting the effect of the wind direction and friction, what should be the minimum length of main runway decided by civil engineers for this aircraft for a takeoff? A. 100 meters. B. 1,000 meters. C. 2,000 meters. D. 5,000 meters. Accra Academy. We have 4,000 meters. We have 4,000 meters. It is incorrect. It's not even in the options. How many girls? 2,000 meters. 2,000 meters is correct. <laughs> to the two schools, a closed container has a mixture of 48 grams of sodium hydroxide, 52 grams of water, and 132 grams ammonium sulfate. Find the number of moles of oxygen atoms present in that container. A5. B7, C8, D10. Tell me the girls. Eight. Eight. Eight is the correct answer. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> to the two schools, a solution that may contain either 0.1 molar silver plus aqueous, 0.1 molar lead 2 plus aqueous or both is treated with one molar aqueous hydrochloric acid. A white precipitate forms which does not appear to dissolve in hot water. Which conclusion about the cations present may be drawn? A, only silver is present. Only silver plus is present. B, only lead 2 plus is present. C, silver plus is present and lead 2 plus may be present. Tell me the girls. C. That's true. Put your hands together for them. You are observing the response of type 1 and type 2 cells to a specific protein ligand. Type 1 cells proliferates rapidly in response to the ligand, unlike type 2 cells. Choose the option that can explain the observed difference. A. The gene encoding the ligand-specific receptor 
in type 1 cells has a methylated promoter, B. Type 1 cells express intracellular receptors, unlike type 2 cells, C. Type 1 cells express plasma membrane receptors, unlike type 2 cells, D. Type 1 cells lack the transcription factor needed for the expression of the gene encoding the ligand-specific tamalagels. B. B, no. Encoding the ligand-specific receptor. The answer is C. To the two schools, which of the following statements about Idicott plant anatomy is most accurate? A. The phalloderm is a thin layer of parenchyma cells derived from the vascular cambium. B. Lateral roots arise from the pericycle and push through the cortex, endodermis, and epidermis during their growth. C. Secondary growth refers to growth of a branch once all primary growth along that giving branch has finished. D. One may distinguish leaves from the leaflets of a compound leaf by the absence or presence, respectively, of an auxiliary bud at the base of the structure in question. Accra Academy. B. B is correct. <laughs> Last question to end this round. One of your colleagues is attempting to isolate the receptor for testosterone. He decides to copy your protocol for isolating the receptor for epinephrine by radio labeling the hormone, isolating the membrane fraction, and purifying radioactive protein complexes. Realizing that your colleague has probably not slept in days, you review the experimental procedure to ensure that it actually works. Which of the following is the reason why your colleague's experiment would not work? A. Radio labels on testosterone do not last very long. B. Testosterone is a steroid hormone and diffuses across the cell membrane. C. Testosterone binds only briefly to its receptor and then rapidly dissociates. C. Radio labeling the hormone would result in cell death. The answer is B. Testosterone is a steroid hormone and diffuses across the cell membrane. Contestants, put your hands together for yourselves as we enter round four. Let's leave on stage the experts in English language, please. At the end of round three, ladies and gentlemen, Tamale Girls had five points, Accra Academy had minus 15 points. Put your hands together for the two schools. Contestants, you're welcome to round four, also known as the one-on-one -on -one round, also known as the G-Money round. In this round, each school will receive 50 CDs from G-Money for every correct answer they give. To get your G-Money wallet now, please dial star 422 hash, transact business with G-Money, and then qualify for a loan from G-Money. G-Money, I say Papa Naba, then you respond, Kratum. G-Money, Papa Naba. In this round... We pair up one team member with their counterpart from the other team. You face questions, English, math, science, general knowledge. Right answer, 10 points. No deduction for a wrong answer. You buzz to answer. In English language, Aisha Samuel, welcome. This word means self-denial. I need you to spell this word correctly by providing the missing letters. A dash N E dash A. T I O N. It means self denial. Accra Academy. B e and G. B e and G. G is the right answer. <laughs> to the two schools, which H word refers to a stumbling block and is also used to describe a sport? Accra Academy. Hedo. Hedo is the right answer. Experts in maths, please join us. Justin, welcome. Ample for your welcome in maths. You have 30 seconds. 
a moment is randomly selected in the week. What is the probability that this moment will occur during normal business hours? Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Tell me the girls. Five over seven. Five over seven? No. Okay, Academy, you buzzed. One over 15. One over 15. One over 15 is incorrect. The two schools, please listen carefully. The radius of a cylinder A is twice the diameter of cylinder B. And the height of cylinder A is also twice the height of cylinder B. If the volume of cylinder A is M and the volume of cylinder B is N, what is the value of MN? Accra Academy. Eight. No. You bust. Four. No. 32. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Our science experts, please join us. Mustafa, Jessica, welcome. For the point, name this property of staining reagents and dyes, which helps with visualizing samples. A crack at me. Column chromatography. You have column, column chromatography. chromatography is incorrect. The answer is color or pigments or pigmentation. The last question in science. Name this condition of local or generalized deprivation of oxygen from tissue. Tell me the girls. Deoxygenation. Deoxygenation, no. Academy. Boy fit. The answer is hyposia. Put your hands together for them. Let's bring on stage and go to general knowledge. Contestants, you're welcome. In general knowledge, you have 10 seconds. This country's highest peak is Mount Damavant, which is located in the Albos Mountains along this country's northern border. The Zagros Mountains from this country's western border with Iraq. This country's western shore is made up by the Persian Gulf. For 10 points, name this country with the capital, Tehran. Car Academy. Iran. Iran, yes. <laughs> Last question. Identify, as you watch on the screen, this current chief of defense staff. <laughs> yes. Thomas Upung. Thomas Opon and Chroma. No, you don't know him. His name is Lieutenant General Obiakwa. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Let's invite the other contestants on stage. At the end of round four, ladies and gentlemen, Tamale Girls had zero points. Accra Academy had 30 points. Please put your hands together for them. At the end of the contest, here are the scores. Accra Academy, at the end of the contest, ladies and gentlemen, they won with 80 points. Tamale Girls Senior High School, they came second with 30 points. <laughs> ladies, unfortunately, this will be the end of the road for you. But we wish you all the best, and we know that we'll see you again in the next season, hopefully with a better performance to take you to the next stage of the competition. Thank you again for coming. To the winners of the contest, Accra Academy, well done, but it gets tougher going forward. Wish you all the best in your future contest. My name is Noble Crosby, and I'm your quiz master. I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.
We love our music and we love DJ Filter. Yay! Well, thank you for joining us on the day show. I hope you've had a fantastic week. Audience, how's your week been? Good? Yeah. It's been okay. No money. Doom so. Don't worry, we're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be light in your house. Hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, well, yes, like I said, today we're focusing on the church and we're speaking to some of your favorite gospel artists.